Uh, today is a good day, um, of course, that uh, the Lord has brought a good word. Something I will be sharing from my many lessons I've learned over the years from our pastor. Praise the Lord. I want to teach on a message I titled The Place of Understanding. The Place of Praise the Lord. Please preach it to only two people, only two people close to you. The place of understanding. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, please, let's go to our reference scripture, Psalms. I'm sorry, Proverbs chapter 2, verse 6. Proverbs chapter 2, verse 6. Proverbs chapter 2, verse 6. The Bible says, for the Lord gives what? Wisdom. Say with me, wisdom. And um, the last two Wednesdays, Pastor Dr. Gibson and Pastor Dr. Phoebe has extensively shown us how wisdom works and operates and how to get wisdom. Amen. These are fundamentals. If God is speaking to young people about wisdom, it's because... He doesn't want them to be foolish. Amen. The Bible says there is a way that seems right. There is a way when you look at it, it looks pleasing. It looks like this is what is happening. This is, the, this is what everybody is supposed to be doing. But it says that that way, the only time you would tell of that way is at the end. Hallelujah. It's dangerous because at the beginning, you would think that because you're on that way, you should have signals. But you keep going. That's why you see some people when they are in a particular situation or living a wrong lifestyle. No matter what you tell them, they believe that they will end up well. This is what causes a lot of regret. And, you know, when they are 50, 60, they begin to cry. I die know. Hallelujah. That will not be our portion in Jesus' name. As children of God in Peter, the Bible calls us children of obedience. Say with me, I am a child that obeys the instructions of my father. Hallelujah. It's so easy because God is not wicked as many people think. And God is not self, is not um, biased. Praise the Lord. In Acts, the Bible speaks and says explicitly that God is no respecter of any person. What you admire in someone's life can also happen in your life. It's not a product of the person is special um, or there is a lifestyle or the person was made specially for a special assignment. What you call special is relative from the word of God. The Bible says in Isaiah that um, a, a virgin will conceive. Did the Bible give the name of the virgin? It only allowed you to align with the prophecy and it, became, it will become yours. So if God says, for example, this year you will have you harvest. No name attached. As, as you align yourself with the dealings and the word and the instructions coming from this altar, you, you will see yourself progressing. It will then look like the prophecy was only for you. Because you heed and you decided to be diligent to the instructions. Praise the Lord. What am I saying? That we should not take for granted what is coming. Every time you should behave like a babe that wants to learn. Like a child that wants to learn from his father. Even if you know what your father wants to say, you just want to hear him say it again. Praise the Lord. So it's important that we uh, learn today about understanding. And um, I, 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 by the grace of God, have been in some of the meetings our man of God have taught on understanding. And it's been mind-blowing. You know, that's why I say I'm only preaching from the lessons I've learned from our pastor. Because it's so important that we hear what God is saying. There is, the Bible says, it's the truth that will set you free. Not the one that you read on, on the internet or you watched on YouTube. The one that you know. The one that you have understood, the one that you have imbibed, the one that you have come to conceive, the one that you have agreed with. It says it's that one that will make you free. So why a lot of people in bondage 
and when you see people in bondage, it looks like, why is God not delivering this person? Why won't God make everybody rich? Why are some people poor? Why are some people suffering? And you look and you shake your head as though God is unjust. No, God is not unjust. God has given his word. God, has, God did not hide the Bible from some, some people and say, don't read it. Hallelujah. So today we want to find out what is the place of understanding in this Christian faith. Because uh, it's, of course, we have been taught wisdom on two Wednesdays. And it's possible for you to understand wisdom. But there is a dimension that even wisdom has to be understood. I said what even wisdom has to be what? Understood. Think about, just let's, let's take a break, you know. Think about the many things you have to understand. And why you need understanding. You have to understand even your own self. Because some people don't understand themselves. They don't know how they behave. When something happens, they say, that is how I am. But you don't understand your new birth. You don't understand that. You have a new life. You are not the same you in 2009 that is in 2021. There is an understanding you must have of your new you in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So, um, in the place of understanding that God is going to be speaking to us today, is to open us and show us that understanding needs a place in our life. Understanding needs what? A place. Understanding needs a place. We have to give time to understand things. You have to understand how things work. What is understanding? Very simple. How things work. Say with me how things work. You have to understand how things work. How people work. It's so important that you don't just collect salary from your boss. You understand how your boss what works. Your boss likes early delivery of jobs. He likes you to be early 7 a.m. He likes you to be at this time. That is what pleases him. It, 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 you say that's how we, that's, that's not how my husband, he's not your husband. He's your boss and he, there is a way how it works in this place. There is a place, there is a way it works in this church. You can't just come and as you hold mic, you start praising from beginning. There is a system. There is a what? System. There is a what? There is a protocol. Understanding how your body functions. We go to school for six years. Some, 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 some places, we, even nine. Some places, they can take it further to 12, depending on how many strikes you, you receive. Amen. <laughs> I'm just thinking of you too. <laughs> Praise the Lord. They can strike you, go two years. They strike you, you go three. And you are in medical school trying to understand how the body functions. Everything you are doing is how it functions. A patient will come and say, Pastor, I don't know, um, Doctor, I don't know how my body is doing me. They don't know. They expect you to explain to them. You must have understanding. And if you are the type that was only because now we are in the age of internet study. So, it's easy for us to answer question quickly. We divide screen. Here is answer and here is question. So we are in a, we are in, we are in a generation that is in a time that is making us lazy. We pray we can go to school back so that teacher will look at you eyeball to eyeball and ask you, what is tissue? Everybody close the phone. Close your phone. You know, in school, when you hear close your book and close your phone, you start hearing people shouting Jesus. Like, what is Jesus supposed to do at that time? So the patient expects you to understand. After six years, they expect you to have an understanding. Hallelujah. So, it's important. Today, I want to stress the need for understanding. Say with me, the need. The need for understanding. This is why pastor will say things like, grow up before you go up. Because if you don't understand growth, you just arrive at a place and you say, how did I get here? It's like accident. No. He always says, for example, that we are not here by mistake. 
It's like you plot your own graph to where you want to go to. It's understanding. So you can teach your children and say, do this, do this, do this. Not that how do you become rich is God. Oh. It's, not, it's, not, it's not how it works. How, explain to Big how did you become rich? You see they interview rich people. How did you make, what is the source of you? They understand how it works. Paul would say, yes, it's by grace, but I labor. There was a system. There was, he understood how this thing worked. That is why it was difficult for him to lose some things. Jesus understands. When he was in, 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 in the New Testament, when he was teaching, he was praying in John 17 and he says, Father, I thank you because the ones you have given to me I have not lost. Except the son of perdition because the scripture has to be fulfilled. He understood what was going to happen. Do you understand what will happen in your life? Faith is not assumption. Say with me, faith is not assumption. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Faith is not assumption. The Bible says now faith is very precise. Now faith is. The Bible spoke of Abraham. It says Abraham knew that even if he kills his son, God will raise him from the dead. He had an understanding of who his God was. Not just putting tithe and offering. Where is your understanding? Job chapter 28. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Job 28 verse, uh, go, go to 13, let me be sure, amen, praise the Lord, I, I, I have the scripture I want us to read, but I want to go a bit up where he says, where is your, where is the place of understanding, where we took our text from, praise the Lord, hallelujah, Job 28 is there, I'm sure, the verse I know it not now. Praise God. 12, yeah? Not 13, 12. Hallelujah. So let's read. One, two, ready, go. But. So God is asking. Say with me, God is asking. Where is the place of understanding? Do you have understanding? Where is it? Is it in Trelebus now? Where shall we find this understanding now? Someone has kidnapped bandy hoodlums, not bandy. Sorry, they kidnap understanding. Where is understanding? Ask your neighbor, where is understanding? Ah, where is understanding? Foolishness is a displacement of understanding. Understanding is not sitting at its rightful place. Where is understanding? You can see God is speaking and he's saying wisdom. Where shall wisdom be found? Where is the place where we can find wisdom? And you would think because of, uh, of course, wisdom is the principal thing. Say with me, the principal thing. The Bible says in all you're getting, get understanding also. Make sure that you add understanding. That's why we are bringing this message. Because even if you have wisdom and you lack understanding you see the bible says something it says in the lips of the man that has understanding you will find wisdom but it's impossible to find it's possible because there was a there was a man in the bible a, a poor man that saved the city pastor was teaching us the last time and this man was very wise but this man did not get something he remained poor even, if he, even when he was wise. Because if you don't know the place of understanding in wisdom, you will lose. Praise the Lord. Someone that understands how the work is, how the business, the mechanism of the business, they understand how to dress, not wearing clothes, how to... Mm -hmm. They call them fashion designers, stylists. How, there's a how to dress. Everybody wears clothes, but there is a how to dress. You pay them for understanding colors. You pay them for understanding combinations. Not, not, you, you too can wear clothes. You can go to market and buy it. But there is a problem when you add A and B. Hallelujah. You know, you think you can dress until a stylist style you. 
You say, God. Hmm. Where is the place of understanding? Why do we lack understanding in families? True wisdom, Proverbs 24. Don't go there, just Proverbs 24. A house is built. You build a house by wisdom. But it takes understanding to establish it. Longevity is the, understanding is the secret to longevity. Length is because of understanding. You can start by wisdom. But distance is by understanding. You can make money now. But to, let's come when all of us are 60, 65. And see finding you popping something. There's a, it's understanding. Say with me, understanding. We will only clap for you because of your understanding of how money works. Some people say money is a game. They're, everyone makes money. Say with me, everyone makes money. They pay everyone. Yes, now. They paid your dad. Didn't they pay him? Praise the Lord. But some parents did take loan. So what, what's the problem now? Is it that the money is not enough? Or there is no understanding? Because please, 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 everyone has a husband. But without understanding, you can't establish that home that you have built. Hallelujah. Without understanding, you will not be able to stay. Everybody has husband, but you can tell a house that is standing by understanding. You can tell a person, everyone is a Christian, giving their life to Christ. Stone speaking. But it takes understanding. Because even if you are speaking in tongues, the Bible calls it the perfect mystery of Christ. It takes understanding to depart from evil. If you have wisdom without understanding, you will still suffer the same thing. You will still struggle as one that is not wise. Hallelujah. You want to be a woman and a man that understands. Please, 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 please. God is speaking to us of the place because some people don't have space for understanding. When a decision comes, we just choose bam, 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 this one. Like Lot. There, is a, there are two space. He just looked and said, ah, this one looks nice. He said, give me this one. He was, cho he was choosing where Sodom was. Abraham, Abraham told him, just choose. Don't worry. Some people choose by the sight of their eyes. Because of how the person looks. Understanding goes beyond the physical. Understanding is understanding what is standing. That thing that is in front of you. That business proposal. That thing that looks beautiful. That fruit in the Garden of Eden, ability to discern. Say with me, discern. So God is speaking and he's saying, where is understanding? Breaking news. Police looking for understanding. Now we are searching for understanding. Where is it? Okay, let's go. Um, take me to 25. Let me see something. Verse 25, please. Uh, 26, please. Thank you. Um, seven. I don't want to go there, but it's okay. And the next one, last one, that is it's okay. The Bible says, and unto man... God is saying unto man, Behold, the fear of God, that is wisdom. What is wisdom? What is wisdom? You would think now that this is cheap, Abby. Fear of God. Don't, I, don't you fear God? But you will be amazed by how many things you are doing because you don't fear God. You'll be amazed by the number of decisions you make because you are not scared. You make it without no reverence. No honor, no. You don't even acknowledge him. From bed to Netflix. 
from Netflix to fridge. No fear of God. You don't care. The fool is the one that says there is no God in the heart. You don't have to say it openly. You just have to act it. Because out of the abundance of your heart, we can tell the fruit you are speaking. We know this one. Forget. This one don't fear God. There is a way to walk when you fear God. Not physical walk. There are decisions you make when you fear God. You, there, are some, there are some questions you will not ask because of fear. When you, 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 ah, you reverence your parents, you can't ask them rubbish questions. When they are tired, they have come back, they are sitting down, just resting. You can't come and say, mommy, uh -uh, you can't play with somebody. What? Eh. They can smile, but you, can, you, you have to understand. You see what I'm saying? A child that don't understand, he receives the most beating. In the it's as if they, they want to kill you. You don't know when to speak, how to speak. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and to depart from evil is what? What is understanding? To depart from evil. Ah, the simplicity in the word of God. You'll be surprised. Now, my question is, what is evil? Because uh, sin is evil. But there are other things that are not sin, but they are evil. Hallelujah. Whatever is not good, according to God's perspective, is evil. Whatever is not good, according to God's... Not your perspective, please. According to God's perspective, is evil. This is why when our man of God preaches, he always tells us God is not silent on some things. He has his perspective. But people behave as if God don't have perspective. It's like we're all in argument in this world. We are trying to know what is good and bad. No. Understanding is what will help you differentiate between good and evil. What was the problem in the Garden of Eden? Lack of understanding. Lack of understanding. They didn't understand the depth of what they were doing. They didn't understand the depth of their dominion. This is how a lot of us sell our, our, our birthright because of a pot of porridge. Because of temporary pleasure, we sell destiny. We give it away. We don't care. Is it not my mother? She's old. Use her. What is that? At least she will enjoy for the money before she die. You can tell a man that lacks understanding. He's hasty to make decisions. No thinking. Doesn't fear God. There is no place for understanding. He doesn't look to understand the decision. He just makes it. This one is the one. Like Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Um, so, last... I, I, I will... Come to a place where we will study, of course. We cannot speak of understanding without, without talking about the person of Solomon. But before that, uh, I want us to go to Proverbs chapter 10, verse 13. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 13. Please don't forget this scripture that says to depart from evil is understanding. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In the lips of him that has understanding... Wisdom is found. Are you, listen, if a true leader has understanding, a true father has understanding, a true person, someone who desires to lead an organization, you must, it's, it's understanding is not um, secondary is it's the, it's the number one need of leadership. Because you have a lot of options. Pastor was teaching on mountain of all. You, a, 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 you have a lot of options in front of you. A lot of sentiments and emotions. People connected to you. Brothers, sisters, father. And if you're a leader, you must understand. As a mother in the house, you must understand your children. You cannot rule the house if you don't have understanding. It's impossible. 
Two kids are coming to you. The one you love and the one you, you don't really love like that. The, this one, really, you are seeing that you offended this one. But because you lack understanding, you use sentiment to judge. I'm trying to make us understand that understanding has lost its place. Because every day we are faced with a lot of decisions. You are here in church because there is, a, there is an understanding of your fear of God. Of your reverence for God. You, you, you had to choose between staying at home and coming to church. Consciously or unconsciously. There was a decision that was made. Quickly, you decided, I have to be in church. Look at, it says, a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. When you go to school, for example, and they give homework, you are telling your master that, I thought, I thought, before you finish talking. You know those messages that as you are talking, <laughs> it's better you just keep quiet so they will flog you, but as you are speaking, you are increasing the cane. This is what I was speaking. A child that likes, lacks understanding will suffer. Punishment. It's like, you are, you are the, it's like they hate you in the house. It's because you don't know when to speak. Hallelujah. First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32. Let us, let us study something. 12, 32. First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32. Let's go there. Let's read something interesting. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Are you here? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's read one, two, ready, go, please. And of the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding. Hold on. Uh, just leave off the times. Amen? Let's read up to understanding. One, two, ready, go. And of the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding. What did they have? They had what? So God is pointing to a man or group of people and he's saying, the children of Alice, the generation of Dr. Nonso had understanding. <music>